this was as, as good a time as I've ever had. We just had a special group of guys, a really special leader in Coach Jim Hendry. They accomplished something that uh, this town will never forget, uh, something I'll never forget. Rosenblatt Stadium, nestled in the cradle of Omaha. For two weeks every year, it was the epicenter of college baseball. Very exciting uh, for the whole community. I mean, everybody gets up for the games. Uh, when you get these kids out here playing ball, they, they just, it's a dip, different atmosphere altogether. It's neat. It really is. But in 1991, it became something more. The Creighton Blue Jays put together a run that will live forever in Omaha lore. Got a boy. Nice job, Ryan. All right, here we go. At the end of 90, um, we were good. You know, we, we played well in Texas and came a couple games from Omaha then, and Dan Smith left in the first round. I thought if our two freshman pitchers, Alan Bennis and Eric Maloney, um, would do well as freshmen, I thought we'd be real good because we had the best hitting team in the country. Our goal, I remember when I was 17 years old and Jim Hendry came to see me play, he told me we're going to play in the College World Series. I guess probably uh, is I was fortunate enough to to have the ability to, to convince a lot of 18-year-old kids out of high school that we could get this done and that, that we would be good people to play for here and it was a good school. I, I think the only couple things I've done is I, from day one, thought this could happen. The Jays smashed their way to second place in the Valley and the fourth seed in regional action. However, a first trip to the College World Series would require going through host school and traditional power, USC. Chad McConnell would use that moment to produce the shot heard around Omaha. This game was so big for us. I mean, our confidence is so high right now. I, if you ask anybody on the team, I don't think they think anybody can beat us right now. Every, everything's just working so good for us. Our defense, our pitching, I mean, everything's just going great. I think going out there and, and being uh, the fourth seed, I believe we were, um, probably not giving much of a chance. I think, you know, people didn't, I think a lot of people didn't know the school existed, you know, and then, you know, to be from where we were and uh, to go out to that school and play a team on their own home field um, and to play the way we did, um, that game was phenomenal. The win led to a 15-8 thumping of Hawaii and set the scene for a wild week back in the Big O. About to go to Omaha for the first time, and for the first time for them, it's just a walk down the block. I've been here for years, and there's nothing like this atmosphere right now. Creighton getting here has just done a wonderful thing for Omaha. It's awesome. Look around. There's 18,000 cheering fans. Every out is sweet. Creighton being in it, it's just got the whole town just turned upside down. I think it's the greatest thing that's happened to Omaha. It was just unbelievable. There were people everywhere, and uh, I, I know that there were more people than it than had ever been there before. Uh, you know, we we just you know we felt like we belonged, uh, even though we were we were a really small school to be there. It was not overwhelming. It was exciting. I think the fans treated us so well um, that it didn't get us to a point where we felt like um, we shouldn't be there. Like nothing I don't think this town had ever seen before. Round one action in College Baseball World Series. Creighton and Clemson scoreless. Boy, what a story that would be if that team could pull off a win here in Omaha. To see all them fans out there, I mean, we weren't even expecting that. We figured there'd be a few fans, but they let all the guys in in the outfield. They let all the men, and uh, when they, they roared when they came out, it was just like electricity going through my body. It was just incredible. Clemson set up a Valley showdown with Wichita State, what would become one of the most iconic games in CWS history. We've played very, very well the last couple weeks, as obvious, and uh, you know, it's a new beginning tomorrow for the, for the other six games are in distant memory. I don't think Jim Henry 
could have asked for anything more than this. problem they had with supposedly had getting beat so many times by Wichita. As far as we're concerned, they played the game of their life. I mean, they really played well. On the Tillman. Venice can't get it. McCafferty, the second baseman, charges. Nice play. I made the pitches I need to, needed to make to, to get the job done. And uh, other than the fourth, I probably could have thrown much better. Two, two, one. It's a base hit. Runs will turn third. The Wimbledon home. He's out of the plate. I thought it would take a, you know, a perfect throw, and and that's what Audley made, and and uh, uh, we tried to play to win, but I obviously uh, didn't make the best decision for our ball club. I think by game time uh, uh, we'll bounce back. You know, we showed them something. We, did. we showed them uh, how much we want to win, and uh, we'll, we'll win tonight and uh, play those guys. Uh, Two on Thursday and Friday. You know. Long Beach State was uh, watching us and we were over there playing uh, flip, you know, just having a good time. I mean, we, we were a bunch of guys that were loose and loved each other, you know. It was just a great, uh, tight new group, group of guys. A six run inning to this I think we bounced back real well, and the fans really helped us. They really get, got up on morale for the game. A drive to left again. Will the park hold it? Well, now, wait a minute. The fan in left field reached out and grabbed it. The 3-2 to Vargas. Jump right to the first baseman, McConnell. He comes home. They got him. Yeah, it's, it's been long waiting for, for everybody in the city of Omaha and everybody on the team. So I think it's good for the university and for the players themselves. We knew it would be hard to win it, and with the crowd's help, uh, I don't feel, I don't think we felt we were ever out of it. A blowout win for Creighton staved off elimination and matched them up again with their rivals from Wichita. We walked in there with our heads high, our chins, our chins up, and uh, we were ready to go kick some butt. after this. We wanted to win it. I think a lot of people thought, well, they're happy to be here. You know, if, if they win a game, that's great. We wanted to win it. And unfortunately, we didn't. But it still stings me to this day. Well, unfortunately, we didn't make it all the way, but we had a really good run. And uh, what an exciting time for this city. It never gets old. Um, the memories are life-lasting. We are seeing some serious action. I'm not sure if the World Series would be as big as it is right now if it wasn't for what happened in 1991 because it became a ticket that everybody had to have. Uh, my, my players were just tremendous uh, down the stretch. They accomplished something that uh, this town will never forget. Uh, something I'll never forget and, and uh, basically made, uh, made Jim Henry's life a whole lot better lately.